continuing with this alignment you find that the measurements are right so you have you will then find your right amount of columns and rows according to the measurements here so check that these are correct and then you will have a right alignment select views and on this screen you will set it up as required do not worry about this one this is a bit wrong but it doesn't matter from here you have to align so that your view screens are divided in the whole 16 different columns and five rows as we set it up so uh, begin with view number one one to six columns view number two starting from six of course number six will align on top of each other ending in number also number six of course and view number three will start at 11 and also have six columns so 11 will go on top of each other there and number six will go on top of each other there close this one align the dots by dragging them always start with calculate single virtual camera there it's done and then uh, you can go to multifrostrum open up that one and this is the one and here you can select scene and 3D tunnel to get the best, the best kind of system. Remain that open and select multiple virtual cameras because you also want to have the multi calculation. For some reason my projector hangs up at uh, single camera assignment but that's probably just a restart issue. Anyhow, um, after you made single virtual camera calculations, you can select the frustrums here, which is this one. And if you're using Flight Simulator, remember to check asymmetric frustrums and calculate all projectors and it will calculate it for you. So the first ones are correct. Just import the files or the view group file into.